great tip in terms of the mindset that leads to success is alignment. And very often I meet two different types of people, generalising here. And one is the, the person with the big vision, the big dream. And they have, and they'll share it with you. And they're utterly feckless in making it happen. Not a clue, or a scooby-doo, as we sometimes say. No idea how to make that, to earth it, to manifest it on this earthly plane. No idea. But they have big dreams and visions. I'm really interested in working with those people. I'm only interested in working with people with a big dream. I don't want small dreamers. I want people, sometimes successful people I work with, who look from the outside in as if they are successful, but I know they're not. Not by our terms and standards, they might be, but not by their own heart standards, not by their own values, because they're here to do something and they know they're not doing it. And I like to take people, what I call across the rainbow bridge, from where they are now, to where it is they want to be and to manifest on this earthly plane in their lifetime what they see as being their big vision, their big mission and their big dream. And I run mentoring programs for that. Uh, Born to Lead is one of them and the other one is Big Mission and Big Shine mentoring program. And I want big dreamers and I love, love helping people to manifest real realities. A young woman that I um, mentored through childhood whose social worker in Lowestoft, I have to tell you, said to her, because she always wanted to be a doctor, she was a foster child from Nigeria with her two sisters, and she told her that children with her background rarely made university. So a lamedy, maybe need to just set your sights a little lower so that you are not disappointed in life. A lamedy graduated as England's youngest doctor. And when offered a modelling contract one day as part of the junior surgeon's programme, not on the contract, uh, going to operate on a, a lady uh, with her consultant, um, was sent into a philosophical tailspin. What's wrong with society's values that I can get paid for a face I didn't earn? And I can save that woman's life. And society doesn't value that. And then long emails about the brain drain from Nigeria and the guilt her sister had died at the age of 12 in Nigeria through lack of critical care facilities. I don't believe in coincidences. And I said to her, Lamadie, have you a bigger dream, my darling? And she stated what the dream was. And I said, it's just a dream until you put a goal on a time limit. Make it a goal. Where are you now in relation to that? And what strategy might take you across that rainbow bridge from where you are now? To where it is you want to be. Well, I'm deep with tough summer saving up some money to get back to Nigeria and in September 2009 she pitched that idea to the Nigerian government who gave her four million to set up Nigeria's and West Africa's first air ambulance flying doctor service. It went airborne in July 2010. She was 23 in 2009, only 24 when it went airborne but she had too big of a dreams the person who had some influence over her life. But she didn't allow those negative beliefs to seed in her. She didn't have the I can't attitude that you talked so strongly about, Julie. And uh, Lamedy, as uh, been, I had a reference request from TED TV mm -hmm. for Lamedy from their Fellowship Society. And she has just given the most prestigious talk for MIT, Massachusetts Institute of Technology. She is only 25 now. So incredible. Would that dream have happened had a little beautiful sister, Bussy, not died? I don't think so. And Bussy's tragic death, a beautiful child, 